Hi everyone and welcome to Hero's Training Course. My name's Nick Bishop, I'm the founder and director of Hero Software and I'll be taking you through this Hero 101 training program for our energy modeling software Hero, Home Energy Rating and Optimization. As an ESD engineer and energy rater with over 10 years experience, I founded Hero Software to help deliver better tools for energy raters, to allow the industry to deliver the quality of work that we all want to produce and to help drive the Australian construction industry towards a low carbon future. We want to work for and with you to drive forward Natto's energy modelling in Australia. If you would like to know more about Hero Software and what we're about, please visit our webpage and check out the About Us page. Hero is a next generation energy modelling software package for the residential building industry in Australia with a focus on ease, speed, automation, optimization, and communication. Importantly, Hero is an accredited NatHERS energy rating tool that can be used to demonstrate compliance with the energy efficiency provisions of the Australian Building Codes Board's National Construction Code, or NCC. In particular, it performs a simulation whose results can then be used to produce a NatHERS certificate with a certain star rating that can then be used to show compliance with parts of the NCC. You can use Hero to show energy rating compliance for new and existing dwellings and renovations, for Class 1 residential dwellings, Class 2 apartment dwellings and Class 4 dwellings. Hero has been accredited by the Australian Government's Department of Industry, Science, Energy and Resources for use within the NatHERS scheme and meets the modelling and accuracy requirements of the NatHERS software accreditation protocol. This training course is designed as a complete and thorough deep dive into Hero and performing NatHERS assessments with Hero. It has been designed to deliver you the training you need to be able to perform accurate and proper assessments and is a requirement for any accredited NatHERS assessors from your AAOs to fulfil the requirements for training in any alternative software tool to your originally trained tool. Upon completion of this course, Hero will email your certificate directly to your AAO for their acceptance and you'll now be able to issue NatHERS accredited certificates from the web portal for any projects you upload. Please note these training requirements are dynamic and that in the future if further videos are added to this course you may be required to complete them to continue using the accredited features of the HERO web portal. The course is structured into four main sections. This introductory section that covers the context of HERO, energy modelling, the NatHERS scheme, CSIRO's Chenath engine and how to get started using Hero. The second section of this tutorial breaks down Hero into its components and goes through step by step the various views and features of the application, from the model view through to running simulations and analysing results. The third section of the tutorial goes into the finer detail of each of the constituent model components that make up a Hero project, for example the dwelling, its walls, floors, ceilings, down to the ceiling fans, windows and skylights, and their various properties and the way they can be modelled and used within Hero. Finally, in the last section of this training, we take you through a guided walkthrough of a sample project within Hero from start to finish, providing a glimpse of how Hero works in action. If you're following this course from the Hero Learning Management platform, throughout this course you'll also be questioned and tested on your understanding of the material throughout the course. The policy context of Hero within the Australian building industry is strongly related to the National House Energy Rating Scheme, or NATOS. Administered by the Australian Federal Government, it is the method through which residential energy modelling has entered the Australian Construction Code as a means of complying with parts of the Code's energy efficiency provisions. You must be aware and familiar with the NCC requirements within your jurisdiction, as there are a variety of different implementations in each state of Australia in terms of both the addition or year of the NCC that's current, as well as the requirements of the energy efficiency provisions per state, including the energy rating and its use for compliance purposes. The NCC is available for free to download from the ABCB's website, and you should be very familiar with the relevant sections before undertaking any energy rating compliance work. The NATO's technical note is a critical resource for all NATO's assessors. This is the rules of the game, the apples versus apples settings that are the basis of this rating system that's trying to rank performance. The technical guide provides advice and mandatory requirements that you must follow when conducting a NATO's assessment 
and you need to follow it and be thoroughly familiar with it. If you are an accredited NATO's assessor registered with an AAO, it is against these technical note requirements that you will generally be audited or QA checked upon. The technical notes advise assessors on how to classify rooms into various zone types, how to model neighbouring buildings, how windows are modelled and how the various window libraries are treated, and all other aspects of modelling. Regardless of whether you are accredited or not, if you are producing NATO certificates for compliance purposes, then you need to follow this guide. Hero's purpose is an energy modelling tool, and to accomplish this, as for most energy modelling tools, an underlying energy calculation engine is used. The licensed calculation engine in Hero, as for all NATO's accredited software packages, is CSIRO's Chenath engine. The model that Hero creates is sent to the Chenath engine for calculation and we process and present all results from that simulation. This powerful Australian made software tool has been uniquely designed with Australian climate, construction and operation in mind and provides comparatively fast simulation speeds compared to some other calculation engines. Its comparative accuracy with other energy modelling engines has been confirmed through several studies and reports over the years though it is good to know its strengths and weaknesses. The engine calculates the hourly temperature of each zone or room within a building and the subsequent heating and cooling energy required to keep it at the specified thermostat settings throughout the day. The simulation accounts for almost all environmental effects of a building, including the weather of a project, its hourly temperature, humidity, wind speed and solar irradiation, Within the NATO system, the weather for the project is taken from 69 weather files of climate zones located throughout Australia. The geometry of a building, including dimensions, areas, volumes of zones, floors, walls, ceilings and windows, and the impact of shading upon these objects. The construction types of the various surfaces within the dwelling, including the material's thermal conductivity or insulative value, thermal density, or its thermal mass, and solar absorbances, i.e. its colour. Solar radiation onto and through materials and walls, as well as the construction details of the windows, skylights and doors themselves, including various glass and frame types. The effects of airflow, natural ventilation within the building. Simulations within NATUS schemes across all accredited software rely on a common set of conditions that the modelling is undertaken with. These include common cooling and heating thermostat set points based on the location of the project, as well as the hourly operating schedule for heating and cooling for each specified NATUS zone type that is modelled. The internal heat gains that are produced by internal equipment such as cooking and appliances, as well as from lighting and occupants, as well as their hourly schedules. The operating conditions of internal and external shading devices, which include common settings on the time of their operation, the solar radiation and internal temperature settings that are required to trigger their use. And the operation of natural ventilation through openings within the dwelling, including their hourly opening profiles, as well as their internal temperature triggers. Many of these simulation pro profiles are available publicly on the NATOs and CSIRO webpages and can be important to study to understand the hourly and annual results that underpin NATOs energy modelling. It is important to recognise the reality that energy modelling tools are just that, models, and models will never predict exactly how buildings operate in reality. Models are obviously going to diverge from as-built practice in that the models are calculated using standard conditions that are unlikely to incur in the field. These can include differences in weather, material profiles, methods and quality of construction and installation, and calculation inaccuracies. Not only is the designer, modeler and builder critical, but the occupants and their behaviour too, and how they use the home, how they use any heating and cooling and ventilation systems, and how those systems operate, and then the wider system that represents the home and its microclimate. These are all going to diverge from the calculation results. What modelling is good for is allowing us to predict what might happen if we decide on certain characteristics or design features for our building to allow us to make reasonably good predictions of the effects of changes to the design based on changes to its thermal fabric or orientation or passive solar features, as well as the windows, materials, insulation that encompass the building and that we are seeking to optimise. 
And obviously, finally, and for regulatory purposes, it is to allow us to place an approved minimum metric on thermal fabric performance that we desire to build to in Australia. Once a model has been created within Hero and the simulation has been run, the results of the Chenna simulation are then used to calculate a star rating for the dwelling. In detail, this involves the sum of all the total hourly heating and cooling energies that are required to keep each room at the desired temperature set points for the thermostat's operating profile. This total energy is then calculated on a square metre basis based on the conditioned floor area of the home. This square metre energy load then has an area correction factor applied that compensates for the higher surface area to volume ratio of smaller dwellings. It is this area corrected square metre heating and cooling value that is then used to look up the ranked star rating for that value within the project's specific climate zone on a scale from 0 stars to 10. The star rating, and since the issuance of the NCC 2019, also the heating and cooling loads, are then used to demonstrate compliance against the NCC depending on your various state requirements. This concludes our section on the introduction to HERO, and now you can proceed to the next section of the course, diving deeper into the HERO user interface, its various views, controls and actions, and some of the features contained within.